Hey everybody, Nick from Mossy Creek with this week's Fly Fish Cast. Today is Tuesday, May 3rd. Feels like spring. I think the snow is finally behind us, at least we hope, uh, but it's looking pretty warm for the next week. If we look at the next, you know, 10 days, look at that future forecast, most of our evenings we're looking mid 50s and kind of mid 70s for most of the day. As we get in towards the weekend and get into Friday, it's a little bit of a cool down back into like lower 40s in the evening and maybe mid 50s during the day. So weather looks really comfortable for the next week. Chances of thunderstorms tonight, so they're not really calling for anything super measurable yet. If we get an isolated storm, you know, on Mossy or a certain place, sometimes it can kind of give isolated changes to places, but we'll just keep an eye on that and see what happens tonight. The weekend storm looks a little bit more promising as far as kind of measurable rain goes. A lot of our streams are just below average flow, so if we could get a little bit this weekend, it might actually prove to be pretty good for a lot of our streams and continuing into the spring. Right now, it looks like a lot of that rain could come Friday day and evening and possibly a little bit Saturday. So we'll keep an eye on that, kind of see how that forecast changes. Doesn't look like it. it's going to be anything that's going to like really affect fishing or make things unfishable, but should be a great bump going into the spring. Uh, up in those mountain streams, like I said, water is just below average flow. I was up exploring around North River yesterday. Uh, a lot of the bigger pools that still have good water fish super well. You know, some of the transition water was starting to get a little bit skinny and you had to be careful as you were wading around, taking your time and not trying to spook those fish where that water's skinny and they're pretty spooky. Saw some March Browns still coming off and some yellow stones. Those are kind of our prolific hatches right now uh, for the next few weeks. That's what we're seeing in the mountains for now. Uh, we'll keep an, an eye out on that and like I said, hopefully get a little shot of rain. The brook trout fishing is really awesome right now. And you know, historically, as we go later into the spring and summer, we get lower flows and that fishing's not as great. So I'd recommend, you know, if you got time to fish, because they're awesome. Brook trout are hungry, they're eating dry flies, beautiful fish, beautiful scenery. It's one of my favorite times of the year. So take advantage of those opportunities while we have them. As we come down into the Spring Creeks, pretty similar story, just below average flow. Mossy Creek and Beaver Creek and some of those are running pretty clear, uh, but good. Uh, fish, you know, when it starts to get clear like that, it'll get a little bit more spooky. So typically we're sizing down on our tippet and our flies a little bit being a little bit more careful as you walk along the banks that you're not just walking up to a stream, but that you're easing your way in, keeping a low profile, being really careful with your false cast and being really stealthy. Um, a lot of times when we get kind of that clear water, going down to smaller flies that sink really fast and get to the strike zone quickly can be really effective. So like those light bright paradigons, things with very little material that holds air and that it's pretty much all weight and just sinks fast can be great for those picky fish. Um, we're starting to see some sulfurs. You'll kind of see them pop out throughout the day. Typically last bit of evenings when you see it the thickest. We haven't really seen like really thick consistent prolific hatches late in the evenings but that should kind of get better each day. Lots of reports of trichos the last couple of days too on mossy and beaver and fish actually looking up and eating some of those. So keep an eye out. You're probably going to see some fish with heads popping up. It's probably not quite time to just like really blind fish a dry fly. It's going to be more looking for specific fish that get into a rhythm and eat. But like I said, with those sulfurs, trichos, still some caddis around, you should be able to trick some of those fish. Um, when it gets low and clear, fishing a dry dropper is great too. Even though, like I said, it's not great to like blind fish dries right now, that dry dropper is a great way to like find that fish that's ready to eat, but still be fishing nymphs and, and fishing subsurface. When it's really clear and you get a really bright day, sometimes your early morning and your late evening are the best times to take advantage of that. With our overcast rainy days coming, those are also great streamer fishing days. So Spring Creek fishing has been great, should only get better, and we look forward to terrestrials here before too long. Uh, the river has kind of been fluctuating up and down with, with the spawn. We've seen kind of sporadic changes throughout that with all the ups and downs in the temperatures. Looks a little more steady going through, so we should start to see kind of more consistent spawn. Up in the nest, kind of abandoned those last week when we got a lot of the cold. 
few of the bigger fish have spawned. We're starting to see a little bit of spawning activity from the largemouth as well. So over the next week, you know, we're probably going to see some active spawning going on. So if you go into areas where they're making their beds and it's, you know, protected water, whether that's behind a shoal or a back eddy or giant where that, that nest is protected, you know, really kind of keep an eye on that. If you see fish paired up or doing any sweeping or active spawning, you want to be real careful maybe to let them just kind of do their thing. There's still a lot of fish to be found in the riffles and the current seems close by. You know, let them do their thing up on the nest, catch a couple of fish off on the side, and hopefully we'll get a really good spawn um, this year and, you know, make a lot of fish for the future. So, you know, river's looking great. We're excited to be out there. You know, it should only get better as we keep these warmer temperatures and if we can keep consistent, you know, rain flow or rainfall and the flow. So keep an eye on those gauges. If we get any of those thunderstorms, we could get some, some random fluctuations. But as always, give us a call here at the shop. We're always happy to help and spread you out to new streams if you need somewhere new to go and um, help you get the bugs you need. But we're, we're looking forward to the spring season and hope to see you all soon. Thanks.